Is a 19-year-old Wimbanyama already the alpha? You are Locked On Spurs, your daily San Antonio Spurs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, this is Chris Sabat, and you're listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. Welcome back to Locked On Spurs, right here on the Locked On NBA Network. I'm your host, Jeff Garcia, Spurs writer for Kings 5 San Antonio. Glad to have you back. Hope everybody's having a great work week and get it ready for the weekend that's ahead. Hey, shocker here. Another episode about Victor Winbanyama. Yeah, he's not in the NBA yet, but I look, well, rest assured the Spurs are going to draft him. So when he is officially a member of the NBA slash Spurs, well, let's just say the party's going to amplify 10 times in San Antonio. Hey, thanks for making Lockdown Spurs your first listen each and every day. We are free and available wherever you get podcasts, whether it be iTunes, Stitcher, the now the Sirius XM app. Yeah, everywhere. You can No excuse for you to not find Lockdown Spurs. So what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about the 19-year-old Victor Wembanyama. Wemby, 19 years old. He's a teenager. But he's already going to be the alpha on day one and other news and notes. And yes, probably more about Wimby, who is helping me today. He is Rudy Campos of Sweep the League. I think Rudy, Wimby told me that he only fears you in the paint. Wow. That's uh, awesome. I've heard a lot of scouts uh, tell me the exact same thing, according to what Wimby Yama is saying, that I am a fearful person, but... Uh, nonetheless, I did withdraw my uh, my draft, uh, I guess, uh, status. Uh, I'm not going to be in this year's draft because a certain TikToker that you wrote about uh, <laughs> is going to be entering the NBA draft. So they need to hit up your article to read that part. Can you believe that? Like this, this guy, this, so everybody <laughs> who didn't check this out, this guy just for fun read the NBA collective bargaining agreement. And in mm-hmm. there, he discovered the, the qualifications to enter your name into the draft. It's literally easy as one, two, three. It's not difficult. He <laughs> laid it out. You just literally fill out a form, check the boxes, and you're in. So he is now invited to go to New York City to sit with the draft eligible players. Crazy, huh? Um, you, you know, sure. if it's that easy, Rudy, no, well, maybe we should try it out. You know, you never know. Maybe late <laughs> second rounders, maybe. You know, maybe, maybe late second rounders. Um, I would say I, I would. I'm a definitely a ninth and tenth round guy. Um, uh, definitely Remember back in the sure. day, Remember back in the day, the NBA draft used to go, what, four or five deep, four or five rounds. Um, deep? I thought it was six or am I thinking around? maybe six? four or five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jeez. Craziness. But <laughs> hopefully the Spurs, uh, won't be in the NBA draft water for too much longer after, um, the next month because when Banyama is imminent, like the Spurs are likely to draft him. There's probably no secret. He's going to go number one. Yay. Spurs. But then comes to the business on the court. Mm-hmm. Rudy, we know what he can do. We know the skill set. We know the height. We know this legendary player, the next one, is coming to San Antonio. But what we're not talking about is mentality, his leadership. The big question I got for you, Rudy, of Sweep the League, is when by Yama already the alpha on this Spurs team at 19 years old? Your thoughts? So I think we're we're going to use Alpha very lightly. At least I'm going to use it very lightly. Is he going to be the go-to guy for the San Antonio Spurs? Uh, absolutely. I mean, you've got two guys previously before him and Tim Duncan and David Robinson, who when they were first drafted and came into the league, uh, they were the the go-to guys. They were the two guys that they were going to focus on, get you know, run the offense through, uh, and everything like that. But as far as Alpha goes, as far as where a mentality standpoint goes, definitely not. Not right now. He's going to be a leader for this team, but they're still going to rely heavily uh, heavily on, like, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, you know, possibly Trey Jones if he's still here. Uh, They're going to rely on those guys to still be the leader and to mentor. And that's the good thing about this situation is that he's going to get mentorship for guys that are in the league and on his team right now, as well as past former NBA players and uh, San Antonio Spurs legends. Uh, They're going to help uh, mentally with uh, Victor here. So eventually he will be the leader. He will be the ultimate alpha on the team. Uh, but just for uh, on the court sakes, he will be the number one option. He will be the alpha. Uh, as far as leadership goes, it's going to take him about a year or two before he can get you know all of it together for the San Antonio Spurs. 
Yeah, I think there's going to be some, you know, you know, walking on eggshells initially. And he, again, remember everybody, he's a 19 year old kid coming to mm-hmm. San Antonio. So, I, you know, I, I definitely hope we'll see flashes of his leadership, and I think we will as the season goes on. But when it comes to on the court overall general leadership, I think it may be by the collective. Uh, mm. Vassell, Keldon, Trey Jones. As far as, we get, as of right now, the Spurs do have veterans, Gorgie Dang and Zach Collins and McDermott. Rudy, why can I see those guys being the collective alpha, even over guys like Keldon Johnson, Devin, and Wimby? Well, I mean, you can because the whole, you know, when it comes to veteran leadership, the Spurs do have a lot of great veterans, veterans on the team. Like you mentioned, Collins, uh, you got McDermott, you got Jang, you you mean you've even got uh, what Richardson or Langford still there too. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically they're all still here. So you've got some good leaders, guys that have been in the league and who have been proven to be leaders on teams. Um, I, I, like I said, I think with Victor, it's going to take a little while when it comes to leadership. But the one guy I do focus on when it comes to Victor uh, is Jeremy Sohan. I mean, he came in mm-hmm. the league at the exact same age, you know, what, 19 years old. Uh, we saw him develop towards the end of the year and kind of showcasing on what he can become for the San Antonio Spurs. He was a good leader on the court. I, we did see a lot of, you know, a lot of that on the court. He was a good teammate off the court. I think that's one guy that can really pull Victor aside. It's kind of like, Hey, you know, we are pretty much the same age. Let me show you the ropes a little bit. And he would be a great guy to learn from when it comes to Victor. We're talking with Rudy Campos of sweep the league. Follow him on Twitter at sweep the league. We're talking about when Bayama and is he ready going to be the alpha of this team? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's going to be the alpha. And I, I, I want to be pleasantly surprised. I want to be shocked. You know, after the all-star break, he's barking orders. He's telling people where to go. I think that'd be awesome. But in, you know, the, the, the knock on European players is that all oh, they're soft. Oh, they're, they're not mentally ready. But I, I think that stereotype is bucked of late. You know, look at Joker, uh, Denver right now in the NBA finals. Luka Doncic, you know, definitely a leader for Dallas. So I I think that trend is obviously gone away. But my fear is is that a 19-year-old is going to have not just the weight of a city and a franchise on his shoulders, but the weight of the NBA on his shoulders, hoping that he becomes the next face of the league. Are we asking too much already from a teenager, Rudy? Uh, expectation wise. Yeah. I I mean, we all, we all saw the greatness that was Tim Duncan. We all saw, you know, Michael Jordan coming in. Well, all of all the guys saw Michael Jordan coming into the league. We've seen, you know, generational talents. We've seen greatest of all times come into the league. We still had to have that, you know, pump the break expectation on even LeBron James coming to the league as hyped as he was coming out of high school we still didn't know if he was going to take the mantle as one of the greatest of all times. So asking him before he's even stepped foot into an NBA facility that, you know, Hey, you're going to be the face of the franchise. You're going to be the face of the league. You've got all these expectations. You are the next greatest of all time type player. You know, this is your era. That's a lot for a kid. I mean, it's a lot for a guy that goes to four years in college. I love Tim Mm -hmm. Duncan. Can you imagine a 19-year-old with no American mm-hmm. experience, no MBA experience, no college experience, doesn't have the cameras on him the way colleges do here, even high schoolers in the United States have it. It's a lot different here. There, there's more to work with that will distract you in America than there is overseas. Yeah, yeah. I, I think maybe Alpha is probably not in his cards initially, I think that's something mm-hmm. they're going to grow with. I mean, look look at the thing with Kelton Johnson. For a while, it was that. It was, you know, can he be the alpha? Can he be this and that? But then who was in the way? DeJounte Murray. DeJounte mm-hmm. Murray was the alpha. So I think we can definitely see something like that happening to uh, Wimby. You know, Sohan and, and Kelton definitely. You know, I, I, I'm expecting that aspect of, of Devin Vassell's game to grow next season. The being mm-hmm. the vocal leader. I can see him taking uh, the reins in that department. He definitely is in post-game and pre-game chats. So he definitely he tells it like it is. You remember when the Spurs were, were having those incredible losing streaks and he would just come out and say, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, come on, guys. And and to, to the to the media. So mm-hmm. it's it's interesting to see that. But no, no, no. I think to be the alpha of a Spurs team at 19 years old, 
plus the weight of the NBA and expectations, that's a lot to ask for. So I think Spurs fans probably are not going to expect that. I think they just want to see him develop into just a player they can, they, the team can build around. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and also too, you know, as a rookie, perhaps that's one less thing you got to worry about. You know, why would you want to shoulder that? Like come in on day one, be okay, let's work on your back to the basket game, your front facing game, your shot and everything. Oh, by the way, you're now the vocal leader. I mean, that's just too, too much too soon. So oh, yeah. I think let that grow in time. We're talking with Rudy Campos right here on Locked On Spurs. He is with Sweep the League. He is the man for Sweep the League. Make sure to follow him on Twitter at Sweep the League. When we get back, we're going to have more Wimby talk. And we're going to talk about the Wimby effect. No, not in merchandise and sales and ticket sales. But if he alone is enough to push this Spurs team into the playoffs, we'll talk about that and much more right here on Locked On Spurs. Hey, I want to talk to you about ebay motors you got to go check out ebay motors right now look for a championship team it's all about making sure every player is the perfect fit it's the same when it comes to your vehicle every part needs to fit just right so the next time you need parts and accessories head to ebay motors with ebay guarantee fit you can be sure that every part you need fits right the first time around just add your ride to my garage look for the green check to know if the part will fit or your money back super easy just like in sports confidence is the name of the game when you shop on ebay motors You can look at over 122 million parts to choose from and get the right part that fits. You'll be back in the game in no time. It's easy to bring home a win when the right parts are guaranteed. Get the right parts, the right fit, the right prices on ebaymotors.com. Let's ride. eBay guarantee fit only available in U.S. uh, to U.S. customers. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hello there. We're back right here on Lockdown Spurs with Rudy Campos of Sweep the League. And thanks for making Lockdown Spurs your first listen each and every day. Free and available wherever you get podcasts and on YouTube, Ken's 5 Plus app, Sirius XM NBA radio app. And now, Rudy, brace yourself, Lockdown Spurs fans, or just Spurs fans, I should say, in Corpus Christi, will be able to get Lockdown Spurs. Just found out before recording that the Corpus Christi uh, station KIII wants Locked On Spurs on their website. So go check it out. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. Rudy, say hi to people in Corpus, I guess. Hello, Corpus. Hi, How's y'all. it going? <laughs> How are y'all doing, Corpus? Welcome to the Locked On Spurs uh, show and Locked On Network. By the way, uh, you know, I really hope that the Spurs will one day have a game in Corpus. I think Corpus has strong in Spurs fandom. And it's a shame they haven't gotten that opportunity to host a game, even if it's a preseason game. I'm trying to figure out where would they host the game. They have the uh, that convention center uh, right off the beach. Yeah, I think I think that's what's uh, screwing them up right now is the lack of an NBA ish arena. But I mean, don't they have like uh, a don't they have like a big at university out there like something anything? They have uh, Texas A and M Kingsville, I think, at Corpus Christi or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's big enough, but hey, maybe one day Corpus, you'll get a chance to see Wimby in your neck of the woods and speaking of Wemby Rudy let's continue talking about him now look the skill set wise it's whoo it's it's great (laughs) front facing game back to back game you know can take guards off the dribble at seven foot four I mean this guy is incredible can shoot the threes not just any three like running one-legged threes he has the skill set to add a lot of wins to the Spurs next season, plus with the roster they have currently. Mm-hmm. Gotta throw it out there. We'll start off with play in, and then we'll wrap up this show with playoff. So play in. Play in game. After, is he enough to get to the Yeah, play-in? yeah, exactly. Yeah, my, that's what okay. I'm getting at. Thank you. I was trying to frame it here. Do you think they have, with Wimby, and currently right now, again, we don't know if any trades going to make in draft night or mm-hmm. whatever, but as of this recording, is it enough to get this team into the play in? As the team is currently constructed, I would say they've got a they've got a legitimate shot to make the play in uh, the play in bubble tournament. I would say yes. Um, you know, he's it, it's kind of hard to say because yeah, the the talent is there, and you know, in past in past episodes, I've had my my doubts on Wimby and I've expressed them a lot. And, you know, I still want to see him on an NBA court. I still want to see him. Um, I'm wondering if he's going to get summer league run. I hope he does because that would really determine a lot there. But I say with the current team constructed playing, there's a very good possibility that I would see play in 
uh, first and foremost. I mean, you got Devin, as long as he stays healthy. Keldon, uh, again, healthy. Sohan, you know, there, there's a lot of already pieces in place, and I think Wimby is a a, uh, a great addition, and he's going to be that, that go-to guy that's going to be able to create for some guys. Uh, but, again, I would say playing right now, yeah, I would say it's probably more likely to see a play-in game. All right. I don't know what, what the, you know, you um, Rudy, you and I are old, so I think that's how the kids say it. I don't know mm-hmm. if this is a hot take, what I'm about to say, but I think even last season without Wimby, I think this team could have made the playoffs. I mean, play in, excuse me, play in. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Am I being too crazy? E- fully healthy, yeah. fully healthy. You think they could have yeah. made the play in? Uh, no, I, I still, in mm-hmm. fact, you know, before wow. the season started, you know, you and I were talking about record on one show. And I pegged them right around 22 to 25 wins, and they what ended up with 22. I, there, I didn't, I didn't give them a shot last year, you know, to make the play in game at that, you know. So I would say I'm going to stick to my guns and know even a healthy first team, um, really? talent would have outweighed uh, that team easily. I think on the West. Wow, I, I must be going off the deep end here because <laughs> I think fully healthy and fully powered and Devin Vassell doesn't get that long injury break and Sohan doesn't get shut down and they're not tanking. Um, I think well, they the may have... The team. That's what I'm saying. Oh, right. Like they, they just stood pat. Maybe I should have said that. If they just okay. stood pat, no trades, Jakob's there, Josh Richardson's there, Devin's healthy, Sohan doesn't get shut down at the end of the season. Whew. I think they I would threatened. Say, yeah, how that, they, they threatened. threatened for one. Yeah, they, they threatened it because Jakob was having a fantastic year, like a mm-hmm. really good year. So, I, I think they are they are getting the uh, the unlocks on the door after knocking on that playing door. So, I would say that they probably would have definitely been one of those teams to be knocking on that door. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, but I think Wemby does push their odds to make the play in next season extremely high, depending on his development and, of course, load management. Uh, if the Spurs load manage the crap out of him, maybe <laughs> not, maybe, maybe not. But even then, I think even without him and the seasoning this team got last year, going through the depths of losing, mm-hmm. I think it motivates them to maybe even get the play-in tournament. Well, look, you look at the field right now, Dallas, they're in shambles right now. Houston, they're just starting to get going. You know, the Lakers, you know, I mean, who knows the future of LeBron in the NBA? You know, he's talking retirement already. So mm-hmm. the door could be open for a play in. But what about the playoffs when we get back? Rudy and I are going to continue talking about the Wimby effect on the court. And if Wimby is enough to push this team into the playoffs, all that and more right here on Locked On Spurs with Rudy Campos of Sweep the League. And again, remember, the only guy ever to sh- strike fear in Wimbanyana. I'm 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 surprised by that. I mean, how do you do it, Rudy? I mean, your game it's must so, be sick. Um, I, I was known to have a really sick basketball game back in the day. So, um, you know, we 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 can go to the uh, the historians, as in uh, a guy you and I know best, Joe Cortez. You know, I used I used to play oh, under yeah, Joe Cortez, him. and so just go ask the guys, the history buffs at Central Catholic and other schools, and they'll let you know. I had I had a little bit of a game. All right, we'll find out if uh, Wimbayama is uh, going to be calling Rudy to come and put on the uniform to get this team into the playoffs <laughs> in a few seconds. Hey, San Antonio, did you stay up late last night? Do you need to pick me up? Look no further than Muslinger's drive through Coffee. Muslinger's is locally owned independent coffee shop, and they're proud to make delicious coffee for our San Antonio community. They do it fast and friendly as you get on with your day. Whether you're in the mood for a latte, cold brew, or a Red Bull-infused lightning bolt, they have drinks for every taste. 300 five-star reviews cannot be wrong. They have a wide selection of dairy alternatives, low-calorie options, even caffeine-free drinks for when you want to take it easy. And speaking of drinks, I want to recommend two of them. One, the OG OJ. So for us old guys, old people, I remember back in the 80s when Orange Julius was all the craze at the malls. It's back, everybody. I'm proud to say I got the honor to name it. Rudy, I was going to call it just my name, but I thought that'd be too egotistical. So. I just started to do OG OJ because, uh, you know, it is for the original generation, the 80 babies and the OJ Orange Julius. So ask for the OG OJ when you get there. It may or may not be in the menu. Just a matter. Just ask for it. Super delicious. Super great. And they got a new one in honor of Wimbayama's arrival. It's called the alien. Don't be scared, uh, Rudy. It's not a real alien. Don't be scared. You Okay. 
not a real alien. I, I'm good. I'm good. As long as it's not the alien we're used to with Sigourney Weaver, I'm fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not that alien when you go to Mudslingers, uh, but it's out already. It's basically uh, a drink in honor of Wimbayama's arrival. It's ha- it's part of the Red Bull infused Lightning Bolt uh, edition, so it's there. A lot of people have been picking it up already. They say it's very delicious. It's a great pick me up. So if you want to try the alien, it's available right now. I'm assuming uh, Rudy, you're gonna go check it out, right? Oh, 100 percent. I love Mudslingers, 100 percent. Exactly. Go to Muslingers Drive Through Coffee right now for a tasty and convenient caffeine fix. Located at 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive near 21 and 1604. They're open every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok at Mudslingers STX. That's M U D S L I N G E R S T X. And no, it's not real aliens. So everybody calm down. <laughs> And not if not, we're gonna have some fun battling some aliens. But no, they're not aliens at Muslinger. This is the drink called the Alien. Life is too short for a bland coffee. Autobots roll out. We're back right here on Lockdown Spurs with Rudy Campos of Sweep the League, the man that strikes fear in Wimbayana on the court. Good job. Good job. I, I'm sure. assuming you you just shut him down, right? You body him and let him know who's boss in the paint. Yeah, you know, I held him to a, a mere, you know, 15 points and eight boards uh, the last time that we played. But I could have done better. I'm really disappointed in myself. But I just came off of a tournament against uh, uh, guys like Thanos and Darkseid. Gotcha, gotcha. And it was yeah, just that a, happens. my body was a little bruised in that game. But yeah, I, right. he got the better of me. All right. All right. Well, this, you know, every dog has their day. But Wimbayama may have won the battle, but he'll never win the war versus Rudy Campos on the court. And speaking of Wimbayama, uh, let's talk about the playoffs. Now, we kind of covered the play in uh, for mm-hmm. this upcoming season. We figured, like, yeah, the Spurs got a good shot at making that with Wimby. But what about playoffs? We're asking way too much from this squad, even with Wimby, to make the NBA playoffs. Again, with the current uh, team constructed, I would say the playoffs are are pretty far fetched uh, for right now. I he's gonna add he's gonna add wins to the team. That, that's for sure. You needed what forty wins? I think it was uh, Oklahoma City to get in. So you need forty wins. You're asking eighteen wins, an eighteen win turn uh, turnaround. The possibility of that happening it, it's it's balancing on the possible side of it happening. Uh, but again, you know, I, I would still kind of like I did the past couple of years keep the expectations just a little bit low for right now. We have to see exactly how he adjusts to the game. We have to see exactly how this team's going to be constructed. Uh, they've got a crap load of off-season money to spend. So uh, you might see a totally different Spurs team coming in. Maybe a few guys are kept. We don't know yet. But as it's currently constructed, I'd say the play-in is more ideal than an actual playoff spot. I think the only way they really get into the playoffs is if they get into the play-in and run the table. You're asking the Spurs, this Spurs squad, as presently constructed with Wimby's arrival, to get into the top six spots in the West. That's mm-hmm. that may be a tall order. I mean, look, Denver's going to be there, obviously. You know, Dallas likely will be there. Uh, who who am I missing here? Uh, Oklahoma Phoenix. City's probably going to be there. Phoenix is going to be there. So that's already four teams right there. Sacramento's going to be back. You know, they're going to be hungry. To get in, and then of course you got the Clippers kind of hanging out there, depending on Kawhi's health and whatnot. So there's already six yeah. teams that you can ask, and then you ask the Spurs to vault over play in teams like you know again, depending on what the Lakers do and you know whatnot. So yeah, it's a tall task. Uh, look, Barkley recently said that he doesn't see this Spurs as a playoff team next season, and he's right. Yeah, I don't think that's the expectation. I think the sure. expectation from Spurs fans is just marked improvement record wise with Wemby. How much is it? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was, no, I'll say real quick Spurs fans are going based off of Spurs history. I mean, David Robinson came in, had a 25 game, I think, turnaround. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tim Duncan came in, had another 20 something, uh, 24, 23 game turnaround. Yeah. But these guys were coming into situations that were already pretty much like. They were grown them. men too. And they were grown. Yeah, they were not teenagers. Exactly. They they were grown men coming in the league. They had their co- uh, the collegiate battles. They developed uh, pretty early, and you know they they they're coming in the league. Victor's coming in the league without, like I said, that 
American experience when it comes to college levels, the cameras, the limelight, everything. So it's going to be a little different. But, you know, these two guys came out. I think that's what they're expecting. Number one pick. Victor's going to come in. We're going to see that 20-game uh, turnaround. Could it happen? Possibly. Because we don't know. The West could be in shambles. I mean, like you mentioned, the Lakers. Mm-hmm. There's other teams out there where guys really don't want to be a part of, and you may see some turnaround because it's not working. So we may see the West in shambles where the Spurs could squeak in, you know, higher mm-hmm. than what we're expecting and get those extra wins. But like you're saying, like, even like Charles said, you know, just kind of, pull back the expectations when it comes to playoffs. I don't expect to see a 25, maybe 30 game turnaround to where it just like bolts them into like, Oh, they're a guaranteed playoff team or anything. Yeah. To, for the playoffs that that'd be perhaps stretching it because of, uh, as you mentioned, the, uh, the, the teams that are ahead of them currently. Now, if they make a swing for the fences, bring in some trades, bring in some established young proven players because the Spurs have the, the cash, the war assets, all that stuff to make it happen. That changes everything. But as mm-hmm. right now, no trades and Wimby's imminent arrival, it may be difficult to get into the playoffs. And who knows? Like I said, Rudy, they could probably swing for the fences and hey, Dame Lillard in Portland, you seem to be unhappy there. Come on board. You know, that changes mm-hmm. everything, you know, but as of right now, yeah, getting into the playoffs will be tough. And again, load management. You brace yourself, Spurs fans. The <laughs> San Antonio Spurs are going to load manage the crap out of him because of the yeah. history of big men and feet and back issues. So expect yeah. it. Also, too, he's just a rookie. He's probably going to have bad games, and Pop's going to have to pull him and you know sit and learn. That's probably going to happen too. So yeah. and maybe and, you know when matchups are not good for him. I think he's going to win every matchup the, at his length and size and height and skill set, but. He's going to learn some lessons and, you know, he's going to have, he's going to get the bumps on the head. So expect him to get pop. bodied by, yeah, by Jokic and Embiid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Look, there, there's going to be guys yeah. that are going to body him up. So. Somebody's going to dunk on him pretty bad. Get ready for yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Whether it be Giannis, whether it be John Moran, if he's even playing next season, you know, is Zion Williamson, if he does come back, the point is somebody's going to dunk on him. It's going to make every highlight reel. It's going to be all over Sports Center everywhere. We might talk about it here on Locked On Spurs. But that's just the growing pains, and that's going to happen. So, and in those situations, they may mentally rattle him, and Pop may have to take him out. So, yeah, yeah. it's going to be interesting. But yeah, for the playoffs, it might be reaching a bit, bit, bit too much. Hey, well, we're done talking. We want to hear from you. What do you think about Wemby? And is he already the alpha of this Spurs team, or not quite yet? And can this current Spurs roster with Wemby make the play in or the playoffs? Rudy Campos, we need you to brag about Sweep the League. Yeah, Sweep the League. I've been mentioning a whole lot on Jeff's show. Uh, just go to our, our Substack. We have sweeptheleague.substack.com. We're writing articles. We're getting ready for the NBA uh, draft. We do a lot of draft prospects when it comes to NFL and the NBA, so be on the lookout for all that. Uh, episodes come out weekly, so just wherever uh, you see podcasts available, we're on there. Just search Sweep the League. You'll find us on there. We you know, we talk about life, we have laughs, and we talk about sports, and we are going old school like Jeff likes to go sometimes. So um, mm-hmm. we'll be definitely going old school this week, too. So just be stay tuned for that. Are, 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 do you have something to tell us about radio and Rudy Campos, or not yet? <laughs> um, you know what? I'll make this promise. Uh, when, If and okay. when it does happen again, All I will right. save it. I will save it for Locked On. I'll, I'll make the announcement on Locked On. Well, because you're you making it public. Word. Yeah, you're making it public. All yeah, right. If it happens, well, we... if it happens, I'll make it on lockdown. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that. And again, yeah, check out Sweep the League and just Google it. Go check it out and get all your sports fix, not just the Spurs and the NBA. Subscribe to Lockdown Spurs wherever you get your favorite podcast, Google Play, Stitcher, iTunes. The list goes on and on and on. You guys are the everydayers. Guess what? Shocker, everybody. Tomorrow's show, more Wemby. We cannot get enough about Wemby and his imminent arrival. Available on Ken's 5 Plus app, iTunes, Stitcher, Sirius XM radio app. And now, according to my bosses at the Lockdown Network, going to be available in Corpus Christi, Texas. So cannot wait to hear the Corpus fans chime in about Lockdown Spurs. So for Rudy dunks and bodies all over Wimby Campos, I am Jeff Garcia. We're going to put a lock on this episode of Lockdown Spurs. 